What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, some more modern. Some more modern here on Magic the Gathering Online. Not Arena. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is I need one more Assassin's Trophy. So I'm going to go to manatraders.com where you can get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. I just got a call from Sierra Leone. That's hilarious. The number was plus 232-21-001384. And it just said Sierra Leone underneath. And that's really weird because I didn't think uh, anyone from Sierra Leone, the, the war-torn Sierra Leone, would be calling me. Uh, either way, <clears throat> I'm going to rent one Assassin's Trophy from Manatraders.com where you can get your own subscription service for physical paper cards or Magic Online cards. And uh, you'll rent the cards and they uh, literally open up a trade with you on Magic Online. Super... Um, uh, wow, that was, that was not ideal. Super easy. And um, you can get, like I said, 20% 20, 20 off the first three months of any subscription with the promo code and the link in the description. Um, what I did there was I had these glasses that Kerwit uh, has, had sent to us. And um, I put the edge of them un unintentionally into the fan that I have in front of me. And it blew a bunch of dust into my face. So, that was a good time. I had a good time. What if it's a person named Sierra Leone? I don't think so. I don't think so. <clears throat> we are recording for YouTube. I, I started that almost immediately. Whenever I say, what's going on, welcome back, guys. That's usually my YouTube intro. And then Manitraders opens up. And you grab the card. And I'm really... Oh, where'd it go? Reset all folders. And I'm really hoping that this is the only card I need. Because if I have to get another card, I'm going to be real sad. Just for time reasons. But... You have fans of the Steam just on your desk. Yes, Steam. I knew I wasn't gonna have. I knew I wasn't gonna have eight and a half tails. Oh, I was getting so mad. How many do I need? One, two, three. I need one eight and a half tails. That's so sad. That's so sad. Whatever. I'll get it. What are these guys? These are all champions. I'll just get the champions version. I don't really want to have mismatched eight and a half tails. I'm not like a, I'm not a savage. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess I can't choose. They just give me whichever one. That's fine. I don't really care about that. What just happened? Whistling bits. Was I whistling? Was someone whistling? What if I bought you some duct fans and a mess of duct? I don't even know what that means. Anyway, we're just renting the eight and a half tails and then we'll be good to go. And while we're, while we're waiting, I'll just tell you about the deck. This is a deck from Seamonk90, uh, who is a Patreon subscriber. And uh, it's basically a, a multicolor deck, but based primarily on white creatures. You. So you have Brave the Elements, Lingering Souls, Tide Hollow Sculler, Figure of Destiny, Sin Collector. Oh, they did give me the uh, the Champions one. That's pretty good. <clears throat> I like it. Man, that dust is really blowing me away. Curvaceous Kitty, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Can we play Darnell in this deck? Who's Darnell? I feel like I should know this meme, but I don't know if I do. All right, so now we have everything. We have four Forge Tenders, four Apostles Blessing, four Eight and a Half Tails, and four damp three Damping Spear in the sideboard. 
<clears throat> uh, four Siege Rhino, four Sin Collector, four Lingering Souls. So, as you can see, primarily white creatures. All of them get buffed by Honor of the Pure. And it does let us uh, play things like Tidal, Skeller, Sin Collector, Siege Rhino. Assassin's Trophy, interesting choice in the primarily white deck. But having four Path and four Assassin's Trophy is pretty good removal. And Skeller is nice. So, we're going to play some matches with this guy. See how we do. As usual, the deck list will be in the comments. However, it will be the final deck list based on whatever changes we make to it. So let's go to modern, mod, moderno, uh, as they say in the Italian. Come on, pop. Yeah, all right, there we did it. We're gonna bring this bad boy down here. That should be good. Kittens are all white. It's a great name, by the way. All right. Thank you. One month till our cyber gear. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, on Thursday when I streamed, uh, between Sunday when I streamed, I was like 70 subs lower. And it was weird because I don't remember being gifted that many subs in between that period. So it was very weird to see that significant of a drop off in that in that short of time. Billy, what's going on? I thought the kids were... <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I would. I, I really hope this modern Q fires though, because otherwise our day is gonna be shot. You guys wanna? What do you guys wanna chat about while we're? You missed my last comment. It wouldn't really be a big fan, but it would be a long. It would be long and powerful. Are you just talking about AC? Are you just talking about installing AC in my home? I mean, I'm in Florida, so we have central AC, so I don't really need your. I don't really need your secondary AC. I'll be honest. We can all discuss my Aaron Kane Q box. That's a good idea. Because that is a solid, uh, a solid purchase. Yeah, post it in the Discord if you have a picture of your Aaron Kane cube box. Or you can link it in the chat and I'll pull it up. <coughs> Picks are on the Discord. Oh. Well. My mistake. Where are they? In general? Where did you put them? Even though it's a brand new metagame, any decks for standard really send out to you? None literal none I have no idea I haven't played I haven't played enough standard for something to really stand out I've played some decks that I enjoyed what is the next big magic event you plan on going to I have literally zero plans to go to any big magic events unfortunately or fortunately depending on how you look at it um that's not to say I wouldn't make some LA GPLA does sound um does sound fascinating to me based on your offer thank you oh Billy with the five gifted subs like you do thank you so much buddy really appreciate it However, this modern queue does not look like it's going to fire, unfortunately. Las Vegas. Did I say... You said LA, did you not? I'm pretty sure you said LA at one point. I have to look into this. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I said what, when, you said for GPLA. Grim wants to pay for flight and room. You said LA. <clears throat> you damn liar. That's totally different. Vegas is such a bigger thing. Also, I like California more than I like Vegas, so. Uh, we're just been sitting in this modern queue for... God knows how long. It feels like a lifetime. It's probably been like five minutes. Well, I've been recording for nine minutes, so. Oh, well, look at that. 
<laughs> Old Sarav Demir Mastermind herself. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. I'll play against uh, all comers. I'll keep this hand. We got Temple Garden with this guy. <clears throat> what could possibly go wrong? I have not played modern on here in months, so this should be interesting. Well, you and me both, buddy. You and me both. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Let's get that old... <clears throat> Old Templey. We could have gotten uh, Murmuring Bosk, but we don't really need it with the Isolated Chapel in hand. I guess we'll drop this guy. And next time we can play this dude into this dude. Woo! That is Old Templey. You know, you guys know Old Templey. We'll see if Old Cine Boy gets there. He's never going to resolve. Here we go. Is she going to take three? God, it's, she's basically dead. Oh, gosh, she's basically dead. Oh, she didn't take three. I'm trying to sleep on the floor of my office, and this duck keeps blowing cold air on me. Stupid duck fan. Wow. Wow, you might have an obsession, buddy. <clears throat> what do we got here? Cryptic Command and Counter Squallums. Well... Nicobolus Ravager? Ooh, I like this. What is happening right now? Uh, we'll take the Cryptic Command. I think if she draws something better than Cryptic Command next turn, I want to take that instead of Counter Squall. I would rather have taken the Counter Squall and the Cryptic Command. Or the, the Cryptic Command and then whatever else, whatever else she may have. Okay, so Scalding Tarn is gone. Search is gone. And now we get to see what the mystery card is. Unless we want to play Siege Rhino here. Which might be better, considering that her hand is Nicobolus. Because <clears throat> then the following turn, yeah, we're just going to Siege Rhino, I think. Because Counter Squall doesn't actually threaten us. Uh, next turn, and the turn after that, she's likely going to play Nicobolus. So. That card won me my three pro points. That's actually gas, yes, dude. Siege Run is a fantastic card. It's basically a 4-5 with haste, and it, it has lifelink the turn it comes into play. Ryan, to be fair, Rhino ruined everyone's day 24-7 when this guy was in con standard. Yep. Uh, we're probably going to get rid of Godless Shrine here. I like all the other cards, especially when we can just, like, slam through a bunch of damage. Slamage. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can path this guy. Play Honor. And then keep up Brave. That seems good. Thank you. You can't see my hand, but please tell Stream I'm misplaying like a like a shit here i think i can kind of see your hand cuz sin collector <clears throat> brave the element seems good because it prevents any sort of removal and it also prevents any sort of uh blockage
I don't actually see anything I would change so far. This deck seems pretty sweet, actually. I like that it's a mono white deck, so you can take advantage of Honor of the Pure, but you can also take advantage of creatures that aren't strictly mono white. That are very, very good. I think Knight of the Reliquary needs a home here, though. Or not Knight of the Reliquary, uh, Knight of Autumn. Oh, it's old, sweet Tassie Molassie. So now we can play Sin Collector to take that Counter Squall, presuming... Uh, I don't think you have this, or this, or this. I think you just have this. Let's go Sinny McMinny. If she has a removal spell, though, she can go try to kill this guy, and then we brave the elements... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Discard a card, huh? Well, she's not a counter... Oh, actually, she doesn't have counter squall up, so now we can just go... Kapow! And we're gonna go black. Black. Discard a card? Okay. Lingering Souls is like, mm, that's the best card I could have I could have discarded here. Take that squall... She said GG, but it was not GG. It was BG. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, fantastic. That's fantastic. So we already saw Nicobolus and Tassiger, so I don't think Path to Exile is where we want to be. I kind of like taking out Tide Hollow Skelly here, but... I'm going to say it again because I thought I was clever. He's just a city boy, born and raised in South Detroit. Oh, boy. He's just a city boy, born and raised in South Detroit. It's the midnight train going anywhere. City wins. City loses. Probably take out two trophies for an eight and a half tails times dose, I guess. And we have four path and two two assassin trophy. They don't they don't really have permanence um that can't be pathed, so I also hate journey. Wow. That's weird. That's a weird take. I feel like it's it's weird to hate journey because journey is so universally uh like they're just good, man. Get out of here. You're you're timed out. Alright, he's not timed out, but he, he should be. I don't have any tree folk in this deck, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to have to, like, first turn Murmuring Bosk. Also, this doesn't come into play with a Murmuring Bosk untapped. That's unfortunate. Where are my tree time? Where are my tree tops at? My tree, tree folk at? Born and raised in South Nitrot. Did you board in the Tree Folk Tribal? I'll never tell. How did that angel nonsense go last night? At one point it was too painful to watch. And I, that's weird. That Don't be that guy. Oh, God, I hate... Okay, so I know you're just kidding. But, like, I really... One of my, one of my pet peeves on... Like, mostly on YouTube is people like, I had to stop watching at this point. Or I couldn't even... This was painful to watch. It's just such a shitty thing to say. It's not. It's not painful to watch. You're not in any sort of pain. You're just, like, over-exaggerating to be comical at my expense. That's all. That's all you're doing. It's just a, It's just not a decent... It's just a stupid thing to say. Um, I'm pretty sure we can just take planes here. It's painful to watch you complain about... Yeah, you're right. That's fair. Oh, you're right. Um, the deck ended up doing quite well. We actually went 6-1 after we made some tweaks. Oh, wow. Double Colagon's Command seems good what did i take 
Not the card I wanted to take. Oh well. I guess it doesn't really matter. They're gonna use a Colagon's Command and get back whatever we whatever we take anyway. Yeah, that's pretty good. Colagon's Command is pretty MVP here. Colagon's Command is basically that's not that's not that was a Moto's fault. That was me misclicking. Um Colagon's Command is basically a Knight of Autumn in black red instead of white green. Change my mind. What if I hate on Tron? Do I get a timeout then? No. You'll never get a timeout for hating on Tron. Oh, this is fascinating. Some will win. Some will lose. Now I wish I took the Colagon's command because I only got one Brave the Elements. Summerborn does sing the blues. I'm still going to blame Moto because you're perfect. No, that's not true at all. I am a, I'm a man who has made many mistakes in my life. I'm just someone who tries to uh, to rise above them and to to better myself when given the opportunity. <sighs> Billy biscuits, buttery Bobby biscuits. So you have a Logic Knot, which it's going to be hard to get around that. I feel like Tassiger was the least good card to take. At least we have Coligan, Coligan's Command Protection. Tassiger's just like the worst. Tassiger, you are just the worst. So I think we're at a point where we just have to like brave the elements one time. Don't tempt me with Bobby's buttery biscuits. I don't have to tempt you. The buttery biscuits do do the work themselves. Guys, I also haven't shaved in like a week and a half. And I'm not I'm not pleased about it. Let's go black. Oh, we still have to discard, don't we? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Spell has two targets. I'm not necessarily stressed. I just dislike shaving. I bought my process today and getting the rest of my PC parts to either tomorrow or Wednesday. Oh, man. New PC stuff is so... It's so euphoric. I'm... Like, my computer is totally fine. I upgraded in 2017, so... Like, my specs are actually great. And considering what the most I do is play Magic Online and... Uh, okay, I should have cracked this, but... You know, chat's going on. We got some chat things happening. Since considering the most I do is play Magic Online and... MCG Arena and things of that nature, like, I don't... I definitely don't need to upgrade... But I was looking recently, I'm like, ooh, maybe I need an i9 now. Maybe. Well, this is just rude, Sarah. That's just rude. Like, Seedron just never resolves, right? Where's my Cavern of Souls so I can name Rhino? Man, Logic Knot is rough. Trust me, you don't need an i9. No, you're 100% right. You're 100% right. Let me see if I can bring up my specs right now. They're just gonna pop up here anyway. Yeah, uh, let me see if there's any, any compromising information here. I don't think so, I don't think there's anything on here that... Anyway. I, I named my computer Cerebro because I'm, because because of Marvel, but like, yeah, like I have an i7-7700 and I have 32 gigabytes of RAM and my, my GPU is phenomenal. And like, I have no reason to upgrade whatsoever. Like, I'm completely sufficient in everything I do. However, I still see those new i9s, and I'm like, maybe I need a new motherboard. Maybe I need some upgraded RAM. Who knows? Just cracking all my lands. Do, do, do. Oh, lingers? Just lingers, man. I 
Uh, I have a two terabyte M2 uh, NVMe M2. I that's my main hard drive. It is a Samsung Evo. It's not the Pro because actually um, it was gifted to me by Tonos to be. He's like, hey, you want a new hard drive? And I was like, yeah, I've been looking for one. And he's like, okay, I just sent you one. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, thanks. Also, that is another perk. Everything I everything I could buy for my computer, I write up as a business business expense, which is just fantastic. So, Sarah, why are you like this? I need my Delvey boy back. No, no one needs that. Not the Pro i7 and not 9. Wow, gonna have to take this in. <laughs> How dare you? Are you just gonna deal two to me? Oh no, discard the card, sure. Okay, so Colagon's command is gone. I don't know if you have any of these lands in hand still. Sing us a song, you're the banana man. Sing us a song tonight. Cause we're all in the mood for bananas, man. You got us banana, alright. Comes to play untapped. So you, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We'd have two mana for. I don't really want you to get cryptic command mana though, so we're gonna avoid that. I missed the auto tapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there with the spirit. Everything I do, I do it as a business expert. <laughs> That's one of my favorite Brian Adams songs. Not to be confused with Ryan Adams, who has had some uh, some problematic issues recently. I'm just gonna go to the end step and kill this guy. Why the end step? Who knows. Brian Adams really know how to write things off. You're right. Yeah, he really got away with a lot. I think when he, I think he wrote that whole Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves soundtrack off. You guys remember that with Kevin Costner and Morgan Freeman? Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Wow, this is rude. You're being rude. Jokes on you. I already dealt you some damage. All right, so we know you have logic not. It's Marg time? That's unbelievable. Alan Rickman was in that movie, guys. Alan Rickman. Sir Alan Rickman. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know if he's a knight. I don't know if he's been knighted. But he's a good dude. Rest in peace, Severus Snape. <coughs> oh wow, that's a that's a beefy boy. They can counter pretty much everything. We can one, two, three, one, two, yeah, we can do a lot of things here. You guys ready? He's a knight here. <laughs> what does that even mean? Let's lingering. Let's linger it up. Oh, we gotta use black? I don't know how cards work, man. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can counter pretty much anything with this uh with this logic knot. I keep saying they, even though I definitely know it's it's Sarah, so uh, you can tell how ingrained it is for me to use neutral, gender neutral pronouns when I play against people. Even when I know the gender, I'm just like, it's they. 
That's the safe. Dang it, Sarah. Oh, they're not making me discard. That's great. Alrics. Oh man, don't call him Alrics. <laughs> That just seems wrong. All right, so she got she got four mana to counter something. That ain't enough for my for my figure of destiny. What you know about my figure? My figure of oh, the only card they have left is Logic Knot. This is good. This is good news. What you know about my Logic Knot? Logic Knot. Siege Rhino, Brave the Elements, huh? That's actually pretty good. I'll use this one. Okay. <clears throat> I think we've got this game. Feeling good in the neighborhood. Like Applebee's, guys. Like Applebee's. Use the one I put in the pool. One, two, three. We'll dodge Lightning Bolt here. Oh, I guess they could counter that. Dang it. Now we got to get in there for two, right? Who are you going to call? The answer is Ghostbusters. Activate that Tassiger. Give me something crappy to give you. Like a Thought Scour. Beautiful. That's the least That's the least oppressive card. I was going to call my dad. You can still call your dad. That's totally fine. You know, it's possible that your dad even busts ghosts. So... My name is Shake Zula, my girl. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we get to keep this up, huh? <laughs> what if I Assassin's Trophy this guy? What happens then? Do you logic knot it? I'd like to see you try. I dare you. What did she thank me for? What happened at 428? Oh, I gave her Thought Scour back? I mean, it's just it's just better than these, right? It's a random card versus a card that we know uh, ushers in our destruction. Cryptic Command? What are the modes? Counter tap all creatures your opponents control. Oh. Feels bad, man. Feels Batman. That's a yikes for me, dog. Search for Ezkanta. Doesn't do anything for you. Alright. We know you stole this logic knot? Ugh, it's getting worse and worse. So now you know Logic Knot, Cryptic Command, and one random... No, not Cryptic Command. Logic Knot, uh, Search for Ezkanta, and one random card. Okay, I can deal with that. So Logic Knot and one random card. Seems good. I guess we just cross our fingers and hope they don't... 
have a rule spell or another cryptic command? Well, no attacks were made this day, so we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. We're gambling, boys. Whoop whoop whoop! Really, your one card is enough to. Oh, you're flipping. I'll give you a thought. Um, I'll give you a lightning bolt. Actually, doesn't do anything here. Whereas Thought Scour could draw you into something. So I'll just give you the Lightning Bolt. So now you have Bolt. Lightning Bolt my face. Okay. Thank you. I think this guy's coming through. Coming through, it's lit. <coughs> I said BGs again, because that's funny to me. But also GGs. Merbler, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. This is not the behavior to expect from the father of young Mike. <laughs> Well, joke's on you, buddy. You got it. All right, so would I change anything here? I think I do want Knight of Reliquary. Not, I oh, got Knight of Autumn. I keep saying Knight of the Reliquary. That's not what it is. Nope. I, I think we can probably cut one Sin Collector and maybe one Brave the Elements or one Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, I think that's better because Knight of Autumn is a lot of times going to do the, the same work as Assassin's Trophy by killing an Artifact or an Enchantment, but also you get a body... Um, and similarly, this is harder to cast, so. Is the mana okay? This is what it looks like when you play the, the trumpet. Um, I wonder why we have four temple gardens and two, okay, two sample groves. Okay, I did not see those. Total BGs. Uh, you can tell by the way I win my games and the things, man. I'm trying to talk. Oh, you can tell by the way I is there a point where history of banali is just better than lingering souls i don't think so but it it is interesting they're both four power although this only costs three mana this costs five i don't think it's better but it is it's interesting How about the elf druid person that exiles instant and sorcery? Dryad militant? Um, I think that's what you're talking about. You sing, you're singing makes these streams? I don't know about all that, but... um, Do we... I, I feel like we can cut one Apostle's Blessing for one more night. I don't think we need four Apostle's Blessing in the sideboard. That's very interesting, along with four Eight and a Half Tails. I also think this is not super necessary based on the fact that it's legendary. You're never going to want to draw four of these. This is also great against the burn deck. So. I might actually just want another one. Although Damping Sphere is very, very good. Alright, we're just going to four it out for now. Oh, you have to, like, Magic Online's weird where, like, you know how windows retain, they only retain their size if you close them and then open them again? Do you guys, are you familiar with this? UI interests me, so I, I, I notice things like this. So I make it the same size, and then if you close it, the next time you open it, it will retain its shape. If you don't close it and you let it just pop, if you let the match just pop, it will not retain its shape. So now we're going to put on our monocle. And, uh... You know, it's time. Wow, it really makes your eye really big because it feels like you can't close your eye as much. Like, I feel like I have one really big eye right now. I literally just told a coworker about that today. What? About what? What are we talking about? 
The new ad on the screen is driving me nuts. What's the new ad? Is it the the team one? Because that doesn't really... I feel like it doesn't really have an effect on the board, right? Oh, the window sizes? Yeah, it drives me insane. Like, the fact that I have to, like, customize the windows. I'm like, alright, let me... I'll make this the size I want it to be. Then I'll close it. Then I'll reopen it. It's just kind of a... It's kind of a thing. It's a whole to-do. This is also, uh, this is no beats, no burts from the chat. Uh, F2K community is, uh, F2K is the team I'm on, Faded Karma, and, uh, Quest Mode is just a sweet little app you can use. You can watch the stream through it, you can earn points for prizes and things. It's kind of a cool little, uh, it's a cool little service you guys should check out. You can find the link in the description. Hey there, big fan, BGS, onions, chicken and such. Yeah, all those things. Oh, that was a good that was a good hit. I like it. Let's attack. I don't like this swamp, however. I also don't know where you got night quests from. <laughs> it just says quest mode. <laughs> it's like you just made you know, like I'm gonna add night to this. Uh, I think I've probably had about four ounces of water. I can't imagine I haven't. Uh, what are we taking here? Ruined Halo, I guess? Doesn't matter. I don't know, man. I'll just take your Sarah Ascendant. Do you even have a second land? Oh, God, you don't even have a second land? Oh, my God, so lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh my god, Spencer, do not spare, spell it Americ and football. <laughs> oh my god, don't spell it like that. That's just how they write it on the on the albums. Oh, I guess they put it on Tide Hollow Skeller, so this guy coming in is really not, uh, it's not very efficient. Americ and football was my mom. Wow. That's really impressive. Didn't I see this Amiria the Skyrun in my hand? In their hand, rather? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Never mind. It doesn't look like a land there. It looks like a white card. And then they played one rune Halo. Sure. I have so many little spirits. You're nobody till all of these spirits love you. You're nobody till all of these spirits smash your face in. Let's do one of these jobbies. Alright, I think we're just going to pass here. No, we're just going to make it things. I don't think they're gonna have wrath and even if there's nothing we really do about it except not play this and so we'd have a better rebuild but oh god oh my god i'm cringing so hard right now 
You guys have never seen such a cringe. That was greedy. I got greedy. Probably would have rangered there. Ranger seems like a great play at, the, at that juncture. Have you considered going Bant and replacing all the non-spirit cards with more spirits? That's a solid strategy. We'd have to take out the, the actual spirits in the deck though, right? Like, you know, because we couldn't actually flash them back if we're Bant. Those, that match where you just draw three of your Lingering Souls seems good. Let's put you on what's known as a two-turn clock. However, you do have lots of life gain. I imagine you're going to gain at least 12 life here. Revealed Rune Halo Ranger Sarah Ascendant. Unless there's two Rangers. Ranger, Rune Halo Ranger Sarah Ages, two Rangers. Okay. Casual 12 life. Go back up to 19. Seems good. Oh boy, this is rough. I feel like we don't really have a way to stop this this life gain shenanigans. So we know one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess knowing all the cards in your hand, we can easily play another one of these. But Yikes. Boy, this is going well. So Martyr's gone. Man, Pro White doesn't even do that much here because we just don't have enough damage to get through. We could deal six and then they gain 21. Jesus. Oh god, that's vomitous. I feel like if they didn't draw that Wrath of God, we'd probably have won this game. I don't really think we have any way to deal with the Wrath of God. This is a deck called Martyr Brock. They end up playing Martyr of Sands and Infinite Life Gain for their Sarah Ascendance. I'm surprised you didn't know this deck. It's pretty popular. Yep. They're going to put a card on the bottom of their library. It's going to be the Squadron Hawk. <clears throat> oh, no, they're just gaining a million. Whew. Yeah, that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ranger of Eos is where we'll stop. Okay. That's a yikes for me, dog. We want to get rid of this because then they can start putting Squadron Hawks back into their deck. 
Uh, and then just keep recursing, re recurring them. Recursing. Re they'll keep recursing them. It's okay. They're only at 39 life. 31 life. 30 something life. Yep, seems good. I'm gonna get more bard. I'm gonna get two more barter of sands because my name is Ben. My name is Nobert, and I like gaining so much life, and it is just a good time for everybody. Oh, one martyr and one Sarah ascendant. Fascinating. Gone. Just gone. You gotta go. Green, green, black, black. We can get our one overgrown tomb. Just kidding, we don't have that. We wanna maximize the amount of white mana we have for things like Figure of Destiny. So, probably just gonna get... I don't know if it matters here. Well, that's all right. Mm, that's okay. So one of these Sarah Ascendants is gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So is the Ranger of Eos number two. That is every day. You ain't kidding. You guys deserve it. You know what's going on. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Six cards, huh? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up to Sarah Ascendant, I imagine. 41 life. And they're going to name Siege Rhinoceros, I would imagine. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, only five planes. I kind of want to save Assassin's Trophy for this guy because it's pretty busted. But we also need to kill that, so... And if we kill this, they're one step closer to a myria -ing. So that's a yikes. Um... Well, what does that do? Not much here. Although, to be fair, Sin Collector wouldn't do anything either, so it's not really a comparison. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're on like a six turn clock if we can be unblockable every single turn. Four, five. This would give them six, which means they only have to find one more planes in order for Amiria to be ridiculous. But like, we can't just let this go crazy, but they also have another one. I think we're just dead this game. I really don't think we have a way to, to break through damage here. Like, we really need to get rid of the Emiria. Like, if we don't get rid of the Emiria, like, we actually don't have... It doesn't matter if we kill this, you know what I'm saying? Like... Yeah, I don't think any of these cards would have done anything for us.
Getting pro white seems insane here. I'll bring this guy in. Uh, Sin collector doesn't really seem to do anything. I got two brave the elements that aren't really going to target our guys. Yeah, the message is we can't beat you. I think that's the message we're sending. Today's Chicken Sunday. I will play first. Well, this hand is pretty rough. Oh, are we not doing London Mulligan anymore? That's weird. Huh. Well, that's sad. I actually should have not kept that, I guess. It doesn't matter if we kept it or not. There's nothing we can do about it. This forest is pretty awkward. I don't know if we even need the forest. Like, if they path to, if they path to exile something, I don't think we, finding a planes is probably just fine. Do we have planes in the deck? I don't know if I've even seen a planes in the deck. That was a nice hit. Halo, or just crack, crack play uh, Sarah Ascendant, the Raven Inspector. Okay. So I'm actually tempted to kill this, but I mean, I, could, I guess they spend their turn. We know they have Oblivion Ring, so I'm just going to leave it. We're just going to play Knight Lingering Souls here. So one Squadron Hawk gone. Two Squadron Hawk gone. Nope, that was incorrect. They have one more squadron hawk in their hand. They hit a land. Okay. If they want to path a spirit token here, that's pretty okay. Hmm. Well, not ideal. I just feel like we can't deal enough damage here to uh to really break through. Well, that's pretty good. So you got Hawk, Hawk, Oblivion Ring, Path. And then you have one more Hawk that we know about. So you have one unknown. So you have three hawks, two oblivion rings, and a path to exile. Yikes. It's okay. We're at these are 46. We almost got this. They're running out of gas here, guys.
39. We got this. There's no problem. Stop taking my things. Well, this was a nice, that was a nice hit there, so. Three, six, ten. That's good. We're getting somewhere. Blizzard and gone, and Blizzard and gone. So we know you have three hawks and a path. That's a nice recovery tool. What's it gonna be? Might as well. Two more points if you wanna path this guy. What? Get out of here. Oh, are you gonna path that guy instead? Sure. Guess you only take seven here. Still pretty good. I know you got three hawks. What else you got? I drew a wrath of God. I drew a land and a wrath of God. He didn't. Ruined Halo, what do you name? Knight of Autumn? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'm reluctant to use uh, Assassin's Trophy on that. So we know three hawks and one random card. Yeah, the mono white. I mean, it does get rid of Siege Rhino and uh, Figure of Destiny, which is pretty good. So can't even really knock it. All right, one down. Fascinating. How's it gonna be? Could give one of these guys pro white, but then they just block another one. So I guess, I mean, you have to give them all pro white for it to matter. So I need to buy a few cards for a new commander deck. Any place you'd recommend? Oh, if you guys are looking for new cards, you can definitely check out coolstuffinc.com where you can also find sweet, sweet articles of mine. I have to write an article tonight, dang. Man, I forgot it's Monday already. 
And um, if you use promo code FRANK5, you will get 5% off your purchase. So be sure to check that out. Ghost Quarter? Now you're just being rude. Target spell or permanent becomes white. Target permanent you control. So I can actually protect my land from your Ghost Quarter. That's interesting. Are you going to Ghost Quarter? Wow. Target spell or permanent. Oh, we would have had to do it before, I guess. This is not a spell or a permanent. Um, you know what? You know what? No Burts. You got it. Yes, but no. Yep, that's fine. The nice thing is our blocks are very, very good. Okay, we'll just give this pro white then. Uh, sure. Targets. Seems good. You were at nine, Noberts. Um, do we actually just play Lingering Souls here? No, actually we can Assassin's Trophy the Ruined Halo if they don't do anything. We can attack with Knight of Autumn, but it doesn't really do anything because of Ruined Halo that's on the board. What is this? Now you're getting my planes? This is ridiculous. Thank you. Alpha Wolf, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. All right, going to game three. I like it. Knight of Autumn seems better than Sin Collector here, maybe? They both seem pretty good. Tide Hollow Scholar seems not great. We're going to bring both of these, because Sin Collector can hit uh, Celestial Purge and Path to Exile, whereas Knight of Autumn hits Ruined Halo and Oblivion Ring. Seems good. Well, I mean, it's three power on the board, right? And they have a Ruined Halo in hand, so, I mean, you might as well prevent three damage every single turn. It's basically the same as, like, putting an Oblivion Ring on a Knight of the... Wow. Two Tide Hollow Scholars in hand, and they open on a Leyline of the Void. Seems good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. I guess we can still play them as two twos. Eh, I guess we can also just kill this at some point with our three rune, three knight of autumns. But yeah, using rune halo on a creature is basically the same as like playing a detention sphere on that creature, but then also being able to um, like it gets rid of future copies as well. So. I don't think they have any flash creatures, so. Just gonna get in there and put you to 19. You're basically dead. Basically dead. You got it. Cause it's a you, babe. What is this one? Is this the only card that can that can target it? Why don't you ruin Halo it? How about that? Wow. Babe, I love you. Let's see what you got in your hand, huh? Ruined Halo, Path to Exile, and Archangel Avacyn. 
it's pretty 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 good I don't think we care about ruined halo path is obnoxious but I don't think it's more I think we can actually path path this guy take the avacyn and kill Gideon I kind of like that I think getting rid of Gideon here is pretty pretty important. I'll be Gideon without you. What up, Tez Mizzet? Yep, that's a good one, but not as good when you're at 18. So we know you have Path and Rune Halo in hand. Boo, 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 boo. Ghost quartering that? All right, I'll get my swamp, I guess. That doesn't even do anything. Um, This murmuring boss is kind of awkward because we can't actually place Tide Hall Skeller and pump this guy. So you have Rune Halo and Path. The only thing we care about is Path, but you're probably going to Path this guy. Tezmiza, thanks for saying somebody. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, fascinating. Well, I'm out of lands, so that's sad. I thought you were for sure gotten rid of the, f the figure of destiny. I'll just take the Avacyn back then. All right, that seems great. So we now have Path and Ruined Halo and one other card. I don't like this. Ugh. Well, now you have no targets for this, so that's sad. Yep, done. I mean, you were going to do that anyway. If you want to trade here, that seems fine. Like, this card's going to get exponentially worse for us um, the longer it stays on the board. That card's like one martyr of Sands away from being another blowout. Yeah, there you go. It's only six life, though. Not terrible. One, two, three, four, five. Every land except the Murmuring Bosk enters play on I mean, they have Ruined Halo, though, so they can just Ruined Halo Figure of Destiny when it's relevant, which would be, like, next turn. Do you block with Martyr and then don't? Okay, you block with... Yeah, that's fine. So you gain four here. Yep, seems good. Name, figure of destiny, yep. Uh, 
Thank well, you. Well, that's sad. Potatoes Man, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um. Well, I don't like it. I think this is where they took over now, because we know their last card is an Avacyn, and Figure of Destiny is not really going to get the job done for us at this point. And we know they have an Avacyn. That's rough. I mean, we can get to a point where we're like Alpha Strike, but we do need to get rid of this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even if we pump this, it's eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, we put them to one. Yep. Well, that's obnoxious. Night of Autumn into... into Brave the Elements could be good. If we can get Ruined Halo off the board, but... They would take 10, go to 5, and then our Figure of Destiny would be an, a real threat. It doesn't get trampled, though. It just gets flying in first strike. Um, yeah, I'll just block with figure. Oh, because it flips. That's fine. We can actually give our guys pro, pro white during next turn. Which seems very good here. This is a great chance to use this. Oh god, it's going to be red though, isn't it? Oh boy, we just messed up real bad. Yep, that is a red source. Yep, that's that's going to do it. Alright, well that's sad. We just named the wrong color because I forgot when she flips she's red. That was a fun interaction. Alright, do you want to change anything here? Um, I gotta say, I don't love Tide Hollow Skuller. One second, guys. Um, hmm. Ben, no worries, man. Not your fault at all. Are there any better two drops than Tide Hollow Scholar? I feel like there has to be, right? I also kind of like Mirren Crusader more than Sin Collector. The problem is I don't want to turn this into, like, just mono-white, you know what I mean? Or, like, white-green little kids, you know, like Abzan, the the, uh, the green-white little kid deck, or the Abzan little kid deck, because that would require, like, Wiltleaf Lieges, or, like, Loxodon Smiters, or probably even Mirren Crusaders. And I don't want to turn it into deck, Death and Taxes, either. I wonder if, like, Hero of Bladehold is just a good addition to the deck. We can just play Hero of Bladehold. I actually do like Voice of Resurgence. That could be good. I just feel like Tide Hollow Skuller, it just never does what I want it to do. Like, they always end up getting the card back. Knight of the Reliquary I just don't care about. Like, we're not a deck that has a bunch of lands in the graveyard or, or wants to get a bunch of utility lands. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe Talon Trooper would. Wow. Which one floats you? Like, I'm super impressed with your consistency, man. You just show up out of nowhere and you're like, hey, Talon Trooper, by the way. Franconic Disciple, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Oh, what about Atraxa? Atraxa seems pretty good here, right? That'd be sick if we can play some Atraxa. I'm going to put three because I don't like four. And I like having an extra slot. I also don't, I don't love Sin Collector, man. Didn't we add another Knight of Autumn? For something? Hmm. Boros Reckoner. Not the worst suggestion, actually. Um... What about Shalai? What about like one Shalai in the deck? I'll donate a buck if you put one in. Wow. Wow. Also, Sin Collector and Tidal Skull. The thing I don't like about Sin Collector is that he's just not good sometimes. I also don't like the the mana it takes for eight and a half tails. I think I think I'd rather have like I think I like Core Firewalker better than eight and a half tails in the sideboard, and better than like Burnt and Forge Tender. I think if we're focusing on red, I just don't care about eight and a half tails. It's just too expensive. Three keeping up with three mana to activate this guy to pr to protect a creature is just a lot. Oriac Champion's great, but I do like I do like Core Firewalker more than Oriac Champion. I think, especially if we're not putting a bunch of creatures into play and we're we're primarily trying to focus on the red deck. It's interesting. Apostles Blessing is interesting too because we have like three Apostles Blessing, four Brave the Elements, and we had four. Uh, eight and a half tails. So there's like twelve total protection spells. Like what are you even what are you even afraid of, Sea Monk? What are you even afraid of? Um I do like the options we have. Like we have a ton of options. Oh, I do like rest in peace actually. And I think we're actually focusing too much on the red and the protection cards. Stony Silence is also very, very good. But I think Damping Sphere does a lot of that that kind of work. Maybe? Not really, I guess. I don't know. I just don't think Apostle's Blessing is really all that necessary. I don't even think Burnt and Forged Tender is really that necessary. But... Erebos, God of the Dead. Yeah, that's, that's probably fitting. <laughs> good call. Good call, Travis. Good call. Just toss an Airbus in there. They can't gain life. What problem is? Spite Mare. Wow. Okay, Kerwit. Okay. <laughs> all Kerwit wants to do is play creatures that when they're dealt damage, they deal damage to the opponent. That's literally... That's all he wants in life. Oh, I agree. Rip and Sony Silence are two of the best sideboard cards you can possibly get. I just don't know what, what these all these like protection cards are. I don't know what we're afraid of here. I mean, the only thing I'm afraid of is Damnation and Wrath of God. Or maybe like Anger of the Gods. Which I guess Burnt and Forge Tender is pretty good against. Is this good for a main deck? Three voice. I don't even know if I like the assassins. Drive. I do. They're good. It's just a, like God. I don't want think. I don't want to give them lands, and it's harder to. It's not super easy to cast. I think we can try it like this. All right. Wow, do we keep the mono murmuring boss canned? I don't think so. This is a little better, but I'm going to bottom you because we could go turn one figure, but we can't go turn two anything. So depending on what we draw, we might just, uh, 
Yeah, we're just gonna go Bosk here. Do you guys remember Bosk from uh, Empire Strikes Back? He was a bounty hunter. He could be found in the scene with Boba Fett and IG-88. That's a little obscure Star Wars trivia there for you guys, in case you uh, didn't know. Uh, let's get a Temple Garadin. And green and white. Play this guy. I'm going to opt in response. I'm going to spell snare. You need Jesus. Bosk is fetchable. The problem is it just always comes into play tapped. Which is rough. Rough. It also always deals you with damage, so it's basically not a shock land. It's more it's closer to a fetchable pain land. Is that what they're called? Pain lands? You're gonna fail to ruin my Bosk? Fascinating. <laughs> Mr. Bailey, sir, with the hilarious who's the boss image. That's actually hilarious. Wow. That's the best thing I've ever seen. With the Tony Danza hands, no less. Oh my god, that's amazing. Who is the boss? <laughs> oh, the internet's incredible, guys. What a place to be. I settled the wreckage for six and my opponent failed to find. Gross. I feel bad for your opponent. Nah, no, just kidding, I don't. Uh, I like Hero Precinct 1 a lot. I just don't think we have enough gold cards. We have we have a couple gold cards. I don't think we have enough, though. Maybe we do. I don't know what the limit would be. We have 4, 10, 15, 19. Is that a lot? Is that enough? I don't actually know. Don't path my guy. Well, I have all of the things. I'm just going to cryptic command. Cryptic commanding and bouncing this guy is just insane. Like, we're, we're way behind right now, and I don't actually understand why necessarily, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to close these other matches. Twenty-five. That makes sense. It's a da 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 do da 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 do Thank you. Shove Junior, welcome back. Really appreciate the resub. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I need green? Okay. Well that's that's okay, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to scoop here. We don't have any sort of pressure on the board, and they're playing... Uh, oh, they're playing Bant. Have I seen the Spider-Man trailer? I saw it today. It looks just wonderful. I'm a fan. I don't think Stony Silence or Rip are very good here. I don't think we have any sideboard that's really super relevant. I would like Cavern of Souls if we had more consistent creatures. Right now we have... Rhino, Human Cleric, Dryad Knight, Kithkin, 
and elemental. I think we might have any more creatures in the deck and spirits, but that doesn't count. And an angel. So literally none of our creatures share any any type or subtype. So that's sad. Uh, today is when the end game spoilers, uh, the, the embargo, should have lifted. But like, if you guys haven't seen it by now, when it's been out like a week and a half. Like, I don't know. You're seeing it on Friday? It's only Monday. Whatever. We don't have to talk about it. No spoilers then. Definitely no Game of Thrones spoilers because that just makes you a kind of shitty because that, just, that was just on last night. And a lot of people have not had time to watch it yet, so... I was like, what's the hold up here? Yeah, two minutes is fair. I, I can I can respect that. As a reasonable understanding individual. Let's go get a Temple Gradden. Oh, that doesn't do it. Let's go get a Godless Shrine. never don't have it sun collector seems pretty good here oh what is this nonsense narset wilderness reclamation interesting I mean, they can just Snapcaster and Path, and then they have two ways to deal with this guy. Unfortunately, we're just not drawing a lot of threats against them, which is really kind of sad. Yeah, definitely don't watch Season 8 till you finish. That's a solid idea. I can agree with that. I also rewatched it. I think I've watched it all the way through like three times. It's very good. Are they going to path their own Snapcaster Mage? Our guy. All right. That's gone. Field of Ruin's gone. I thought they would either Field of Ruin or pass so they can play Wilderness Reclamation here, but... I also miss not having creature lands. I think instead of Murmuring Boss, I'd rather just have like a Shambling Vent or a Wilderness Recl... Or a Wildwood... Stirring Wildwood. Can you guys hear him? Can you guys hear Hunter in the background? I 
He's dreaming right now. He's totally asleep on the bed dreaming. If this is just a land, we're going to be so far behind. Another honor of the pure? Good lord. I always hope his dreams are pleasant. I hope when he's like, when he's whimpering like that, when he's sleeping, he's not having bad dreams. Oh, Jason the Mind Sculptor. Yep, that's the end of that. That's all I need to see. I have no action here. I don't think Brave the Elements is good enough. I don't think giving your guys mono protection. I think I'd rather have creatures. We don't have enough creatures to protect is the thing. I mean, I can see playing like a one of as like just a, a cool gotham but i also think we want some sort of utility lands like this is the perfect horizon canopy deck and you guys know i'm not a huge horizon canopy fan but i think it's probably better than murmuring boss because it comes into play untapped i have no idea what just what just came out of the deck there oh boy that's frustrating it just pulled a card out and i have no idea what it was we're at 23 lands so it's definitely a land Four Temple Gardens, two Sun Petals, two Isolated, four Godless. It was the single forest. That's really weird why it would do that. I hate that it does that. It's just a really weird, like... Thanks, Ben. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, like Horizon Canopy. I think it's just better than Murmuring Boss. Because despite Murmuring Boss adding a black, I think just... And we almost have the same distribution of green... And, and black cards, right? So green, black. Like, my biggest problem with Sim Collector is that if they have a path, they can just path in response. I could see playing... I could see playing more gold things and hero. Hero being quite good with... <sighs> Honor of the Pure. I could see taking one more trophy out. I don't love Sim Collector. Could Bob be better than Sin Collector? Possibly, but it's not a white creature. So, like, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't do what we're looking for. Um, Let's say Hero. I like Anafenza a lot. Anafenza seems like gas. Hero. Hero's not going to do it. Of... Well, that's a little better, but not great. Oh my god. Like, you click on a card and it just pops in the deck. I don't even know what that was. Was that anything? Did it take a card out? It took another Horizon Canopy out. Why would it... What the... F why does it do that? Anafenza. Like, I just have no idea why it would take that random... And maybe it's just more like a fourth voice. But then we just have very little disruption. You know what I mean? But, like I said, I don't, I'm not a big Tide Hollow Skeller fan. And I'm not a big Sin Collector fan. I just don't think they... We do want Creature Lands as well. That is correct. I don't know if we want that many lands that come into play tapped, though. I guess it's fine. We can take out Shut one up, Temple Garden. My money. One Boros Reckoner Buck. I really appreciate you putting it in the deck. It validates me as a person. <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing that, though. Why, why, why are you like this? Kitchen Fanks could be fine. I just don't think it's better than Night of Autumn or Anafenza. I think, Anaf I think Night of Autumn is just better than Kitchen Fanks. I'd rather just play a fourth Night of Autumn. They both gain four life, only Night of Autumn is extremely more versatile. This is 24 lands, and we missed the one Horizon Canopy. I think that's fine. One Canopy. We added one, can one Canopy, one Shambling Vent, and one uh, Stirring Wildwood. And we took out one Temple Garden and two Murmuring Bosks. So we still get one. We get one more card. I don't know if we want the Shalai, now that we have 
Hero of Pre-Saint one? Badger, what's going on, buddy? 12 months in a row. One whole year. Happy one year anniversary, my dude. Happy one year anniversary. Where are the legendary tree man at? <laughs> oh, God. So now we get two cards, but if we take the Shalai out, what are some good gold white cards? I don't hate another planes, to be honest with you, but I mean, yes, I know Dora and the Siege Tower is what you're referring to. I'm, I'm well aware of what you're saying. It only has like, so it makes this guy better, but it makes this guy worse. So I don't know if it's even worth it. Like it's it's a cool five five for five, but I'd rather just play another like Anafenza, which is a four four for four, but it has two much more relevant abilities. Fleece main lion is pretty cool. I had to Google it. Oh, okay, so you're doing it for you. I got you. Um I really like hero in here actually. I swear to God. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, six. This is eighteen, so we actually definitely need two more two more gold cards. Do you want Thalia on the board? I don't think Thalia does anything better than Damping Sphere does. I could see Gadok Teague. That's interesting. Run Jace. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, we want more creatures, guys. We only have 18 gold cards for Hero of Pre-Saint 1. Which means I could actually see cutting one hero and adding three gold cards instead. Oh, we wanted another voice, didn't we? I like four voices in the deck. Let me look for white multicolor cards in the new set. What are you guys saying? You guys are making really... You guys are making really bad suggestions, I'm going to be honest with you. Alright. Let's see what we got here. We'll leave is fine. I just don't want to turn this into like a... Uh, I don't want to turn this into like Abzan Little Kid. Tulsimir Friend of Wolves is kind of cool. I don't think it's good enough for us, but maybe it is. It's two three threes. One of them fights, and you gain three life. That's kind of cool. Thank you. Yeah, again, Elspeth's not gold. We're looking for gold cards, guys. Gold cards. That are in our colors. Beaston, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, oh my god, it did it again. It took out the voice. Unbelievable. I cannot... It's the third time it's happened in this single deck building session. How about new Johnny? That could be interesting. I don't know if it's good enough for modern, though. I don't know if Tulsmir oh, is good enough for modern either, but I think it's worth trying. Yeah, I don't think New Gideon is better than any of the other cards we have, and also it doesn't. Again, it's a it's not a it's not a gold card. All right, let me just borrow the um, Horizon. I'm gonna add two Horizon canopies, just in case I need more. And 
And what else do we need? Toll smear. Oh man. I think that's all we need. So we'll do it. Knight of the Reliquary just doesn't seem good. I don't know why we're... People keep naming Knight of the Reliquary. I'm just not thrilled about... Like, it doesn't do anything in our deck. Like, we don't have that many... Like, we don't want to sacrifice a Godless Shrine to get, like, a... Gavany Township could be fine. I just don't think we have the luxury of playing a colorless land in the deck. I like it a lot. I think it's good. Oversoul of Dusk is gas. I wonder if Oversoul of Dusk is just unbeatable in modern. Predicts from blue, black, and red. I guess I could still be Path to Exiled. Here's for putting up all my bad suggestions, just having a little fun. Hey, Travis, no worries, buddy. No worries at all. No worries at all. Watch Wolf is strictly worse than Fleece Man Lion. It's not even close. Travis, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. Um, what if we put like one blood baron uh yeah that's fine and again if you guys want to use uh if you guys want to find a sweet service for borrowing magic online cards or for borrowing physical paper magic cards definitely check out manatraders.com their service is super efficient and if you use the promo code and link that's in my description below you'll get 20 percent off your first three months of any subscription so it's a pretty sweet deal. You should definitely check it out. And it's this simple. They just open trade with you. You take the cards. Oh, Seraph of the Scale sounds like gas. See, now we're getting some good suggestions here. I also like... What was the other card? Blood Baron. What if we take out the Figure of Destiny? We just make it like a, a higher a higher end deck. One Blood Baron, one Toll Smear. Do I have Seraph of the Scales? Do I just need to get that? Uh, I just have to keep borrowing cards. I feel so bad. I hate when I like don't know what I'm doing until I do it. I do like a Maelstrom Pulse. I mean, I think we're definitely getting towards mid-range here. All right, so let's get some Seraphs. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for sticking with this deck building portion. I just keep renting like two to four individual cards at a time through Mana Traders. And they're probably just like, can you just rent the whole deck? So we're going to take these out. And then I think, so Figure of Destiny is good, but it's really mana intensive, right? So if you want to play one drop, two drop, three drop, you actually have no, you have no real efficient time to cast it. Whereas like you can play Hero, Honor, and Voice on turn two, and then you don't have to actually invest anything else into them. Uh, also, keep in mind that Honor of the Pure does affect the Seraph of the Scales tokens. It affects the 3-3 three, three Wolf. And it also affects all of our Lingering Souls and our Hero of Pre-Saint 1 tokens. So, it's a lot of synergy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is 20 gold cards now. We took out four figures for one Pulse, two Seraphs, and one Blood Baron of Viscopa. Nice. And again, Mana Traders, super efficient. Really sweet. What about Dromoka? I don't think we want to go up to six mana. I think twenty. I think twenty four lands is fine when we have only two five drops. 
Bowser, we're looking forward to seeing you, buddy. The U.S. in general. Um, Jiroka's command seems okay, but I feel like Knight of Autumn is just better. I mean, if you want to kill an enchantment, it does that. If you want to fight a creature, I guess it doesn't do that. I like trying out this Tulsimir, though. Let's see how this works. The U.S. will be improved as soon as I set foot in it. I'm in Australia. America. Australia. America. Here in America, we don't tolerate that kind of crap, sir. If you guys didn't know, that was a... That was a little uh, Simpsons meme. No, sir. I don't like it. What's that from? I mean, obviously it's from The Simpsons, but I can't remember what part it is. Oh, it's from Ren and Simpy, yes. <laughs> well, I don't really need any rubble, rubber nipple protectors, but do you have any rubber walrus protectors? Call the police. Ren and Stimpy was a very weird show. And now we just have to wait for the... Uh, oh, we did it. We did it. We are good to go. G2G. I like this hand already. We just need one more land. <laughs> You're a weird show. That's fair. If you guys are watching me and you consider Twitch or YouTube a show, which a lot of people do actually, then uh, I accept the fact that I'm a weird show. How many fetches do we have? Renegade Rally could be interesting. That's, uh, yeah, it could be. I think we have I think we have eight. Four Windswept and four Verdants. Which makes me think we should actually have four windswept, three windswept, three marsh flats, and two verdant. That's what I think we should have. Oh, fascinating. A watery grave and a marsh flat into an aether vial. That is intriguing. Let's just get a godless shrine here. I don't want to mess up because any that, that lets any land come into play untapped. It lets any land. I use that money to pay Twitch streamers. Appreciate it. Jellyfill Donut, I appreciate you. Come on, Anna Fenza. I said bye bye and offends up. I appreciate you, Jelly Filled Donut, and all your delicious confections. That's a that's a donut reference, in case you guys didn't get it, because donuts are donuts are pretty tasty, man. A white gold card? What is a white gold card? That's a white card that's also gold. Dread Horde Butcher? What? Okay, I mean, I guess they trade. Seems fine. I mean, I'm not gonna let this... I'm not gonna let this guy just walk all over me. Wow, well, there's a lot of Path to Exiles. Nope, that's not it. Let's go this one. Your face is a donut reference. Harsh but fair. Harsh but fair.
Well, they named zombies, so whoever said the Grixis zombies was on the money. Diagraph, Captain. Good, 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 diagraph, diagraph. Uh, green, black, and white. I hope they don't kill us with some ridiculous combination of things. Is it going to be a Dreadhorde Butcher? Oh, wow, this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. We just walked into the bad times. Oh, yeah, that's good. They done they done did it now. Oh, yeah, we should have. We messed up. I have no idea what this deck has in it. I don't know. I don't know what this deck contains, so... That is a lot of uh, that's a lot of zomboys. Oh, another one? Do you have three? No, because you only got two. What is happening right now? Is this real life? Is this just fantasy? It's Red Horde Butcher. Well, son of a biscuit. Well, can't win them all. Oh, they just went to the face there? That's pretty crazy. Um, We could literally just go path, 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 and like I feel like that puts us in a pretty, pretty ridiculous position here. See you later. Sometimes you can win them. Sometimes you just draw three paths. I don't know what to tell you. I would be on full tilt if I got path three times like that. Oh, same, for sure. Well, this guy gets to regenerate, at least. Good for him. He's living that lot less life. He can degenerate, am I right? I I don't I don't know actually if you're right. Well, it's a good game, not good games. There's only been one. Let's not say good games. There's only been one game. Let's not go crazy. Uh we're gonna bring in the other Knight of Autumn because they have the thing. You know, the pulse thing. The Aether Vial. You know what I'm saying. Gotta keep them regenerated. Oh, don't say no. Wow, what is this? What the fudge? Oh, man, apparently one of my rest in pieces was altered in a very poor manner. That's a cool, uh, that's a cool rest in piece right there, my dude. It is the only card that does that. Damping spheres are fine. Oh, one of the damping spheres is also shit. How about this top core Firewalker? Nope, all the Firewalkers are good. Stony Silences? Oh, one of the Stony Silences is bad. What if I move it? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. What if I bring it down here? Still stays, huh? Okay. Well, that's... <laughs> that's amazing. I don't... We didn't see anything that really makes us want Rest in Peace. Like, um, the 2-2, what's his Relentless Dead is good. 
but it's really mana intensive and it's just a, a creature it's just one creature it's not like a super engine so i think we're gonna good i think we're gonna good like this we're gonna good like this Oh, uh, this hand seems actually pretty okay. We can honor into knight. If we draw a hero, it's even better. Is Wheel of Sun and Moon better than Rest in Peace? Discuss. Can you splash Hadana's climb? Probably, but I just don't feel like messing with the mana base to do it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? We're just going to get a Temple Garden. Uh, I don't... I'm, we'll probably do a draft at some point. This might be the last match I'm playing with this deck. Because it's, we're, at, we're at the two-hour mark right now. And that's usually where I like to keep it. Just because it's di it's more digestible that way. And I feel like we've gotten a good feel for the deck. I do like... I do like the Anafenza. I think it's a, a strong addition. Get up and take that test. Do it or I'll time you out of chat. That's aggressive. Uh, you can have this and we can just Knight of Autumn it. I think that's fine. It is a zombie as well. This is five color deck. Like this is a white blue card. This is a white black card. They had black blue in Diagraph Captain. The Dread Horde guy was black white or black red rather. So we've seen white, black, blue, and red. And then they also have green in Overgrown Tomb. Is this five color zombies? What's that about? They took our path to exile. We're getting Temple Garden. Gotta get a Temple Garden. I do like their lands, though. From old school Onslaught fetches to Expedition. Oh, buttery biscuits. That's the dude we wanted to see. Was it one drop? Grave crawler. Get out of here. And a Relentless Dead into a Dread Horde Butcher. Yeah, we're just going to take... Oh, God, but this guy gets a counter. This card's terrifying. I think it's fine. We can also path it once we get our guy back. Also, Siege Run is great for life gain. Honor the Pure and Lingering Souls is very, very good. When it when it dies, you can pay a black if you do return it to the hand. Yeah, sure, we're not going to care about that. Because next turn we can actually go Lingering Souls and Path, which seems good. Isn't Dave Crawler who Alanis Morissette was singing about? Wow. 
Well, you'd have to ask Larry David. I'm pretty sure Larry David is the only one Alanis Morissette ever told. So. I'm pretty sure we're just blocking here. Because if we don't block here, they're just going to kill it anyway, right? So. The this card is so good. I think we're just chumping here, actually. I like that better. Oh, is it a, is it a captain? Sure, it's a captain. Sure, it's a captain. Are you going to play your last card? What even? Still in Cavalier? What? Good lord. Does Pulse do anything for us here? I guess we have Pulse and Path to go to two of these guys. This card's problematic. Wow. Yikes, what do we do here? We definitely play a land. Siege Gang is going to, if we take one, it's going to put us to ten. But I really don't think that's going to do it. I think we just pulse and path. Pulse and path and pulse and path and pulse and path and pulse and path. I wish they had two of the same creature out. That'd be great. So, we're just going to get a planes here. What is this? The bits. Franconic Disciple, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. Uh, there we go, black and green. And we're going to pulse something now. I don't know what it is. It's probably not this guy. It's definitely the Relentless Dead or Die Ref Captain. Thank you. Swarles Barkley, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, Not going to do it to this. It's either Relentless Dead or Die Ref. I think it's got to be the Captain. We don't want Relentless Dead to... Well, I guess they can't They can't activate it this turn anyway, so that's fine. And then we're just going to keep Path up. When they have no cards in hand, so... God, we're going to take a million from this dude. An old man turn 98... He won the lottery. Died the next day. Well, that sucks. And isn't it ironic? Where's my Blood Barons of Viscopa here? A little too ironic. And yeah, I really do think. It's like a rain on your wedding day. Pressure from white and black. Well, that's a hell of a thing, isn't it? When it dies, you may pay a black to return it to your hand. Great. When it dies, you can pay X to return another zombie with converted max extra. So we can actually, they can pay three to get Diagraph or two to get, they can pay a black and then pay two more to get, this guy seems really problematic. Block here. Block here. Watch the journal, Captain. You ready? I top deck a diagraph, Captain. God, you can hear Little Man too. That's insane. You guys are hearing these noises that are like super low in the in the background, specifically Hunter and Little Man. One, two, three. So they're like, if we pump this guy, then you're taking five, and then we can kill you with this, right? They're like, what's the catch? And I'm like, no catch. Okay. 
Okay. And who would have thought it figures? Mr. Play It Safe was afraid to fly. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. They actually... Remember that time I was just joking about how they top decked on their Diagraph Captain? Oh, and they shot... They didn't... Oh. Oh, because that guy didn't die. That's great. Alright. Well. Is it possible Honor of the Pier is too cute and it should be replaced by something that pumps creatures like a Sorin or an Ajani? I do not know. I don't think we have the luxury of attacking here. This guy can probably kill us, right? Three, four, five. Yikes. We listen hard to the pet mic, so you better treat him right. Uh, block here. Block here. And block here. Yep, we'll take five. Dreadhorde Butcher is a monster. Oh, and also they're we're gonna yeah, they're gonna exact seize us. That's pretty good. Pretty 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 good. Alright. Alright. I feel like we have actual I like I feel like we're good. I feel like we have good stuff. Seraph seems good. Blood Baron seems good. Tulsmere seems good. Gets to fight anything. Siege Rhinos is good. Yeah, alright, we'll keep this. No two drops. Ideally, we can draw a two drop in the next two turns. Either a Honor of the Pure or a Hero. A Hero would be great because then we just got the nice curve here, but. If you're not having two drops, try eating more fruit and drinking more water. I drink tons of water and I eat lots of raisins, buddy. My two drops are just fine. Don't you worry about that. Is he talking about his poop? He is. He is talking about his poop. Tribal bolus. Um, I mean, for modern or for standard? Thanks. Standard. Yes, I like stand. I like I like bolus and standard. Um, days AB. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Fourteen months in a row. My God. My God. What a time to be alive. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. I was thinking standard or modern could work too. Standard probably seems more likely, let's let's be honest. I'm actually gonna path this guy immediately. Do not collect a go, do not collect two hundred dollars. If they have no creatures on board on turn three, I feel like we're in good shape here. Let's get... Tulsmere is double green. I guess we'll get a Temple Garden. Oh, we have a Horizon Canopy. Yeah, I'm still getting a Temple Garden. Come on, let's draw Blood Blair and Tulsmere one time. One time. That's not what we're looking for here. Do I just want a Knight of Autumn here? I guess it's fine. Do I gain the life? I'd probably just make a 4-4, four, four, right? Why 
One of the biggest problems with Grixis dragons I see is that all of the dragons are five drops, and so is the new Nicobolus. So you would have like uh, Demanding Dragon, Skargon Hellkite, um, Sarkon, the new Sarkon, and you'd have Nicobolus all competing for the five slot. Oh, I'm really liking this Urborg. That made our Horizon Canopy real good. That's pretty good. Oh, they took the path instead of the lingering souls. Fascinating. Yep, that's pretty good too. They're doing very well for themselves. I guess we're taking three here i don't imagine they're not gonna pump or maybe they don't pump yeah because they're we take would they take more and they're at five less life so it seems silly to attack there <gasps> oh that's amazing one two three four five gain three kill your sculler get our path back wow that's so good dude this is exciting Uh, choose a torn creature you don't control. I'll choose this guy. Wooey! And we gain another three life. And we get two three threes. Oh man, that felt good. That felt just as good as I was hoping it would feel. Also, unfortunately, if we put Fleece Mane Lion, it is a cat, not a wolf. So... This card's still pretty problematic for us, but. Ooh, Lord of the Accursed. Well, Path to Exile, you're gonna be doing some work. Man, this Horizon Canopy being able to tap for Urborg mana instead of regular mana is pretty nice. Um... Fleece Man Lion confirmed worse than Watch Wolf. Yeah, basically, that's basically what we're going, what we're saying here. Uh, we have a lot of options here. I think it's just Lingering Souls here. This guy's really holding our whole board back, so that's why I want to kind of get Lingering Souls out on the board. I don't actually think we even care if they activate this. They have no cards in hand. Yeah, we're just going to activate this. Because if we draw, like, Honor of the Pure, it's just nuts. 3-2 with Pro White. Seems good. I don't actually understand how any of the rotations work right now. I don't know when the Ravnica cards leave. I don't know when the Ixalan cards leave. Everything's made up and rotations don't matter. <laughs> Welcome to Magic the Gathering, where the rotations are made up and the, the, the everything else is made up too. It's all made up. It's fictional, guys. Their knight can fly, by the way. Yes, that that's true. But if they're going to trade one spirit for the knight, then they're not getting these guys. But yes, it also can get first strike as well. Because, you know, I feel like that's what it needs, really. Um... 
So this guy dies, they I'll just take three here. That's fine. Yeah, like here's where we just alpha. They go block here. They probably don't block anything else. They take three, six, a thousand. Then we can go knight, hero, and knight. We can also path this guy. Which I like better, but I don't think we need to right now. Dryad Knight, not a wolf. Worth noting. Does not trigger. Has Arena talked about what they're doing for Arena once the set rotates out? I don't think officially. I think there's some talk of having an older, like a postmodern format that you can still use those cards in. But I don't think anything like that's been finalized yet. Like, even if we kill this, they can just repump it, so I don't think that actually does anything. I think we're just going too wide here, which is nice. One, two, three. Always yield to that. And I guess we just make. We just gain four, or do we put a counter on this? counters I mean we're at 19 I don't think we need the life but I don't know if this deck can just come out of nowhere I have no idea Tide Hollow Sculler ripping away that last path unfortunately you got it so they have four blockers now one, two, three, four. That means they take five at minimum. But then they have to block all the big things. This guy can get back another Sculler. If we hit a removal spell, I think we just win. That's a Windswept Heath. So let's crack this for once. That's a Vert. <laughs> oh, the old two fetch lands in a row. Seems good. All right, let's do one of these jobbies. Let's see what happens. This guy is pretty problematic. What can you do? I think we're still putting them w way far behind. Seems good. So they take five. I guess we actually could have just, uh, just swung with these, but then they give this guy flying, and they only take three, they go to three, and then we don't have enough flying in the air to deal with it. So right now we are getting back our Tide Hollow, our, uh, our Path Dexile. Which is not bad, but they're also going to be able to bring back. Sure. Okay, so they stacked in such a way that we're going to get this last and we get to hold on to it because when they bring back the other Tide Hollow Sculler, it's not going to be able to, uh, to choose anything. Yeah, that seems pretty good. So now we have four spirit tokens that they have to deal with. We know they have one Relentless Dead and one other card in hand. I think... I think that's going to be game. Let's get rid of this guy. So still have one Relentless Dead and one other card. Seems fine. I think that's game. Four spirits is going to do the job. Oh, they don't even care. They're just like, I don't even need to block one. And they're going to pump it? Reckless. You are reckless. 
That's Yoda. Oh, another land. All right, so this is why we don't need uh, 25 lands. Well, thankfully, none of the guys have lifelink, or else we just would have slammed this guy into a lifelinker, but I figured this was fine. <laughs> Excuse me. And also, if you guys are looking for some sweet wardrobe upgrades, definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. You can check out that link in the comments in the description below. This deck was pretty sweet. I actually liked it. Um, I think I like the changes a lot. I like the Hero of Pre-Saint 1. It did some work. It's it's basically like it's it's the white uh, young Pyromancer, right? So it's pretty sweet. And uh, I also like the Voice of Resurgence better than... What did we take out? Tidehollow Skeller? Because, like, Tidehollow Skeller incentivizes them to kill it. Voice of Resurgence de-incentivizes them to kill it, right? So you don't want to kill a Voice of Resurgence, but you do want to kill a Tidehollow Skeller. So, like, I I'm always... I'm always more uh, prone to leaning towards creatures that, that your opponents don't want to kill. Like, hey, I don't want to get this off the board because it's very scary for us. Um, I think Knight of Autumn is fantastic. I, I like it much better than Sin Collector. I think Anafenza is really good, especially with the Exile ability. Siege Rhino also fantastic. Seraph we didn't get to play, but I think it's I think it's going to be just fine when we play it. Um, and the one time I played Tulsimir, I think it actually did some serious work. Uh, being able to kill a 2-1 a or a 2-2 while also getting three life and putting two bodies on the board. It seems like a good value for five. If you compare it to Thrag Tusk, which is what we did in the set review, it's five mana for a 3-3 three, three instead of a 5-3. But you get the same 3-3 three, three up front. You gain three life instead of five life. But you also get to fight something. So, I mean, I think it's very comparable. I don't know if it's as good as Thrag Tusk, but in the gold deck, you're also triggering Hero of Pre-Saint 1. You know, so it's like... It's, it's a give and a take. Either way, Seamunk, thank you so much for the opportunity to play the deck. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you got some uh, valuable insights out of this. Hopefully uh, you you think it's all right. And uh, really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will check you out next time.